All right, I feel like we're about to witness something spectacular here. Will they make it through? Are they too tall? Oh, they're doing it. What's up guys, welcome to the gas station. Uh, just filling up the sea because we have an impromptu little trip coming up. Uh, by trip, I mean about a 30 minute steam uh, south down to Emerald Cove or Emerald Bay. We're gonna go meet up with Jaded Jordan and one of his friends that has just bought a brand new boat that's taking out for its maiden voyage. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go check that out. So I said that I would go take the sea doo drop an anchor, maybe jump in. Uh, I've got my mask in here as well. So I don't know how deep it is, but perhaps we can go for a little swim as well. So uh, yeah, got some juice in her. So let's go. Done. Some juice for me. So it's Memorial Day weekend, it's Saturday. Memorial Day is actually on Monday. So uh, we're getting into it a little bit early here, but it is gonna be busy out on the water because everybody is gonna be bringing their boats. Everybody comes in from out of town. Plus obviously everybody here that has them likes to get out on them. So yeah, it should be a good time. And uh, even if we just go to Amal Bay for a little bit, we can come back, go for a little beach cruise, uh, a beach cruise, a bay cruise, uh, and go and see who's about. But yeah, should be a fun weekend. All right, we're cruising. That is my favorite boat in all of Newport Harbor. Pershing 82, they make a little one as well, which would actually probably be a better fit if I was ever to, you know, be in the market for a multi-million dollar yacht. But yeah, that is just gorgeous. All right, I feel like we're about to witness something spectacular here. Will they make it through? Are they too tall? Oh, they're doing it. <laughs> Never doubted you, not for one second. <laughs> that was funny, I was not sure they were gonna make it through there, but they did. <laughs> so that right there is the smaller Pershing. That's the 70, I think. The other one was an 82. So, I mean, it's still a big boat, but it's definitely more manageable without a crew. Yeah, right there. That, my friends, is what I would like very much. You guys see that? There was a huge dolphin just popped up right in the middle. There he is, over there. How cool is that? I've never seen one in, actually in the marina like this, in the harbor. Whoa, that is epic. Want me to protect you? There's so many bridges, got nowhere to go. Alrighty, so here we are. We'll go say hi to the seals and then we're gonna go south and meet up with the guys in Emerald Bay. The wind has picked up and I'm not wearing a wetsuit because I had intended on jumping in the water when we got down there. So yeah, <laughs> we might get a bit wet and we might get a bit cold. Ocean temperature, 63 degrees right now. And uh, it's looking like there might be a bit of chop. So adventure time. <laughs> okay, 100% we're getting wet. I already can't see a thing through my glasses. I don't think you can see a thing through the lens, but here's the seals. Woo! <laughs> I can't see a thing. There is so much spray. So it looks like reasonably flat, but it's basically, I believe this is what they call squaring off, which is where you hit the same size wave every length. So it's like a four foot wave every four seconds. And so you end up just like slamming down. So yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely fatiguing. I've got this cool stuff that I put on the lens of these GoPros that like repels water. I need to do the same to my glasses because they get all like speckled and then I'm looking, I'm like, oh, can I see any of it? And then like a big wave will come out of nowhere. Woo! <laughs> Hey, it's always an adventure. I do say find your everyday adventure. And holy shit, this one's mine today. Yep. Welcome to Emerald Bay. So this right here is a gated community and this is their private beach. So you can't get to the beach unless you're a member of the community. However, if you have a boat or you have Zidu or whatever, you can go up to the beach 
dock up and swim in or take your little boat in or whatever paddleboard in so uh yeah that is emerald bay and i'm pretty sure that this boat right here is their boat so we'll go up and see if we can find them there's some guys playing around on sea dudes right here which is pretty cool so maybe go join them what's up wet yeah it's pretty choppy i don't know that my anchor's gonna hold in this <laughs> yeah i mean look at that boat all right so it's definitely choppy than we thought even in the bay i don't have an anchor that's going to keep me still in this kind of chop i don't think i need to put more chain on the front of it so i'm just gonna sort of hang out <laughs> socially distanced from the group out here by myself however this boat behind me full of girls this boat over here full of girls this is the first time i've been here and i don't think it's going to be the last but yeah so the plan had been to either tie off to this boat or drop the anchor and kind of chill out but the anchor that i have right now i don't have any chain on it so it's fine if it's calm it'll stay where it is but in this there's no chance it would hold and obviously i can't tie off to those guys because we're moving around too much and that is a brand new boat and i do not want to be responsible for scratching the side of it so i think probably what i'll do is i'll keep cruising that way a little bit we'll go a little bit further south see what we can find we'll go and check out maybe uh, divers cove or shores cove uh, and then we will head back up to the harbor and uh yeah just kind of see where it takes us no real plans uh just having a good time like everybody else is out here you guys see these kelp fronds here floating on the top so it's 29 feet deep it was actually 50 feet deep a minute ago but these kelp fronds are attached to the bottom and they grow all the way up and now look at them they're floating around on the surface i want to say that these things can grow something ridiculous like up to an inch a day or something similar to that i might be wrong so fact check me however i know that when they're like really going for it they can grow so fast and these are amazing to dive through because you can swim through them swim down to the bottom then look back up and you see them all like wafting above you with the sunlight coming through it's just beautiful so yeah we'll definitely go do some kelp diving as well at some point yeah so when you live in newport and you have a boat or a sea do this is what you do memorial day weekend just come out enjoy the ocean go and park up have some drinks it's just it's a great way to live it's funny i had no desire to get a boat i love the ocean i love you know being out in the water i had zero desire to get a boat when i moved from redondo beach hermosa beach la area down here and i think i was here for maybe like three weeks and i was going i need a boat i need a boat i need some way to get out on the ocean and be a part of this and obviously you guys can see why it is just so much fun i mean come on guys just just look if you've seen the video why I moved to Orange County, then you'll know that when I was 15, 16 years old and the TV show The OC was on, which was set here, it was actually set in Newport Beach, I fell in love with the area. I wanted to move here immediately. It took me about 12 years to make it happen, but I did it. And when I'm here on this, doing what I am now and just thinking about how I felt back then about wanting to live out here, it's just honestly it's magical and i am so so grateful that i've been able to make this happen it's been a lot of hard work it's been a lot of heartache there's just been a lot that's gone into it but i'm here i'm enjoying myself i'm on a sea do <laughs> oh. i don't think you can ever say you've made it because you should always be looking for the next thing but it's moments like this where i think well done mate like you made it happen i haven't made it but i've made it happen and i'm taking steps towards whatever the next thing is that i'm aiming for ah oh, very very grateful for the opportunities that i have good job joke no i'm not i'm gonna go around and see you <laughs> oh, a lot of you guys have been asking about these sunglasses where i got them from um so it's a company uh i forgot what they're called they're called knock around they're called knock around and uh yeah they're super cheap you can configure them any way you want you can do different colored arms lenses frame you can do everything in different colors and uh yeah they're super cheap i want to say these are about 40 bucks so if you want a pair i'll put a link in the description you can go check it out i believe i have like a discount code or something so uh yeah you can go check it out but all the information will be there Look at these guys getting after it Yo! 
look how gorgeous this is. This right here is probably my favorite little snippet of Orange County Laguna Beach with the palm trees, this house up on the corner. That's all their property that goes all the way out there. It is just stunning. And then there's like a cool little reef, it's like a swim through over there that you can dive down. People scuba dive right here as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, just look, look how gorgeous this is. Okay, so the plan is these guys are gonna head back to Newport, so I'm gonna kind of cruise back with them and uh, yeah, just kind of hang out. Maybe jump over some of their wake if they make some. And who knows? Jada Jordan right here. Uh, by the way, Jada Jordan is about to become a father for the second time. His wife is literally, literally ready to pop. I saw her about two hours ago and she was like, I think it might happen today. Meanwhile, <laughs> he's here on a boat. So yeah, we'll follow these guys back <laughs> as he cracks his 18th beer of the day. Yeah. Who are they looking for? This is way more fun when you've got friends to play with. That's a good looking boat right I won't be driving, so I can enjoy a little bit. So maybe I'll take a camera with me, maybe I won't, we'll see. But